What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23, game one against the Phillies. I accidentally skipped the two Marlins game, and we lost those anyway, but yeah. From the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park, MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Ryan Reynolds, leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively just a machine in terms of production at the plate he'll take his walks he'll barrel up the baseball he'll hit the ball in the gaps he'll hit the ball over the fence so talk about a guy going good that's him right now and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher first pitch coming your way next just about set to go and today's starting pitcher, Mick Abel. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, I'm looking to see if he can increase the amount of swings and misses and perhaps get more strikeouts because hitters are batting over 300 against him, and that means guys are getting the barrel to the ball. Exit velocity's got to be pretty good when you have that kind of batting average, so he's going to have to find a way to do something different in this one. Key Brian Hayes in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Misses off the inside. Two balls, no strikes. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Good hitters count the 2-0. And that one is inside. That clips the corner. And he chases a high Ooh. fastball there. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And he walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Josh Rojas. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And first offering is fouled off. Heads up. The pitch. On the ground right side. And it stays fair. There we go. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Brian. Reynolds. Brian Reynolds here entered the day with the best batting average in the National League. Runner, yes, First yes. offering, runner goes. Swing and a miss. No ball. Throw no save. Ball. That's a go. stolen base. Well, these guys are being real aggressive to put some runs on the board, get two guys now in the scoring position. Excellent job of stealing second base and staying out of a potential double play. Now, that can kind of backfire and kill your rally, but it worked out nicely. Next pitch is popped up. Turner makes right. the grab one away. Here's O'Neill Cruz, third of the National League leaderboard for batting average. There we go. Could be extra bases. One run across. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. Way and they go, take Chris. a two run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. That pretty much split the zone yeah. down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. 
One gone runner at first. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Connor Joe. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Pirates two and the Philly. Bottom of the first. And here is Brendan Donovan. The second baseman. Here comes the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That's ball inside. Ball. And it's a ball to strike. One ball. One strike. Severino kicks deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Severino stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Over to Cooper. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first two away. Here's Turner now. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Singy, one how about ball. this? From 2019 through 2022, Trey Turner had a higher slugging percentage than Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Ronald Acuna. The pitch. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Clearly, he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Next two, offering two. is down low. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, and they're down 2 nothing. Second inning set to go at the plate for Pittsburgh. Garrett Cooper. The right hander back to work. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That ups his hitting streak to lucky number 13. The Baker's dozen, Boog, and it doesn't seem like a huge number, but anytime you get to the point where you've hit in every game for almost two weeks straight, uh, that's a sign of what kind of rhythm you're in. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Run around the goal. Pitch is low. Yeah. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. And a 1-1. One, one. Oh. Cooper leads off second with one gone in the inning. Bounce to the left side. Gets a glove on it in the hole, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. 
And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Fastball and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. No strike. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Yeah, the right hander deals. He's trying for third. Got it wow. by for the K. Pirates leave one, but they're on top two nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Now, here is C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, he had a 504-foot home run that was one foot shy of the longest homer ever tracked by StatCast. Nomar Mazzari hit one 505 feet. Yeah, that home run tied John Carlos Stanton's 504-foot home run at Coors Field when he was with the Marlins in 2016. Cruz out of first. That's Good one play. out the bottom of the second. Batting fifth. So now the, the DH spot, hit. Oscar Gonzalez. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. Severino, multi-time All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, no and he works in a two-seamer. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Base knock center field. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And there's a the ball. One, two. And now two and two. And now it's filled up. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Corbin Carroll stands in with two away as he takes a ball. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. In the air to left, down the line. Nice grab on the run. And that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They trail things here, 2-0. Back here in Philadelphia, out of the third inning. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hayes getting to start at the hot corner, 27 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Oh. Curveball in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. 
Real Mucho down to first with him. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. At the play, Josh Rojas swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now Ryan Reynolds. That one oh. missed. Reynolds, an all star a season ago, hitting third in the lineup, and he was a second round pick back in 2016. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play, but in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And the pitch. Runner on the goal. Cut on and miss. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe yeah. as a run scores. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get into scoring position, come through with the base Ooh. knock. You add a run. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. Abel picks the first. Reynolds gets back easily. First offering. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. All in one now. Rip towards third. Uh, the throw wide at hey, first, and both go. runners are safe. Now the left fielder, Connor Joe. He's 0 for 1. Runners on the move. Chop to third. Boom. On the run, throw to first. Safe at first as they can't make the play. One out, base is loaded. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Swing and a miss, strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Strike two. Reynolds on third. Cruz on second. Joe at first. One gone. And all three runners on the move here. Oh, and this one gets away. And that cost him a run as he scores easily. Oh, yeah. G1 Bay, the next pirate to hit. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. Owen oh, 2 as he waves at that one. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Steal, Double steal. steal. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Okay. At the belt and fires. Ball. Out at the plate. He tries to steal home, and that ends the inning. They <laughs> As we go to the last of the third, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. 
First pitch, oh no. not close. Now ah. it catches the corner for a strike. slider so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. The wind of the pitch. And that one hit yeah. 97 on the gun. Now it's the right fielder Brett Phillips. And that's in there for strike one. Phillips measures six feet even, 195 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Severino with another strikeout. Oh, man. Just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Donovan in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Check swing. No appeal. And that is ball one. The one one is fouled off. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Got him swinging. Oh, couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Here's the second baseman, G1 Bay. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. 1-1. Oh, well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Lined into right. And he pulls up on it. Yeah. That's a hit. Andy Rodriguez, the next to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the goal. That's towards Shit. center. Marsh moves under it. And makes the grab. And there's one away. Now batting. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. Runner on the goal. Ball outside. Oh Throw to One second more. and no great strike. jump. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. There we and go. Open to center field, base hit. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 5-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now batting key yeah. Brian Hayes. McCutcheon yeah. on the move. Oh, Throw. Wow. Yeah. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Nice little battle of speed versus power right there. Great wheels on the base pass. Top tier arm behind the dish. Really good transfer from that glove to the throwing arm. Got it down there in a hurry. That's why he doesn't get tested very often. Here comes the 1. Back to the mound. He's got it. Tosses to first. And that'll do it. 
So they get one run on two base hits. No errors and no one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Pirates five and the Phillies nothing. Welcome back. And now here is Alec Bohm. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. And it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Cooper settles underneath it. And there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look yeah, really good coming in, in, but so hard to get on top yeah. of as a hitter. Man at first, and next will be the cleanup hitter, C.J. Crone. Ball one there. Been an interesting path for C.J. Crone. 17th overall pick in 2011 by the Angels debuted in 2014 but the power of the last few years has been amazing and he became an all-star 2022 on the ground could be two to second there's one on the first double play and that's the end one hit in the inning but no one left we played four it's the Pirates five and the Phillies nothing Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Rojas. The leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Well, baseball runs in the family for C.J. Crone. His brother Kevin appeared in 47 games for Arizona before playing in Japan. He's also got a cousin oh. and longtime Major League catcher Chad Moeller. Yeah, I remember Chad. That his dad has been a longtime coach at the major and minor leagues. Reynolds. Reynolds lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Swings and misses. One, one. And the count one and one. The one one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Very strong coming out of the pin so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Cruz up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Popped up to the left. Into foul <laughs> ground. Boom. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Pirates as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the DH, Oscar Gonzalez. Hitter. Oscar Gonzalez. And here it comes. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Kicks and deals. That's in there, and it's one and two. Out to short, Cruz. Fires across the ten, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Although we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. 
Real Muto oh, takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. JT uh -huh. Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. A tremendous athlete behind the dish, and this is a guy that probably could play any position on the infield if they needed to, as well as the outfield. There it is. Great speed as a catcher, there can now. steal some bases, can drive in runs, but most Don't importantly, you, he Don't takes that pitching staff where they need to go. Carroll no. takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Joe Good makes man. the grab, and that's the inning. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. And welcome back. Top Leading 6. Here's the left the fielder, left fielder, Connor Joe. Connor Joe. And he deals. Ball. One ball, no strike. Right-handed reliever. Inside oh. just missed. Two of the Zero. most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Misses ball. with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's a strike three and one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. In for a strike. Now it's three oh, and two. Oh. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Garrett. So, man aboard, Garrett Cooper, the next pirate to hit. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Runner on the go. Throw, tag, ow! A bullet from JT Real Muto. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive, you want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. The wind to kick the 2-0. And that one fouled off. The 2 1. Late with the swing there. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch is outside. Line to left, and that's just foul. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it drops in. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough, but right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Not in time. He's there safe. There we go. Yeah. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Shorten up the swing and went right back up the middle. Next is the Pirates' DH, on, Andrew McCutcheon. Center field. 
Marsh moves under it. Go, baby. Yeah. And that is the inning. Two left on. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Pirates five and the Phillies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter down, Brandon Marsh. The pitch. And the slider catches the zone. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next pitch misses outside, and the count is one and two. And down on strikes. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Reynolds gets under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Donovan stands in now and watches strike one. The next oh. offering misses, and the count one is one and one. Next offering is fouled back. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Yeah, and baby. he's down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Phillies down in order. It's 5 nothing. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Alex McFarland. And one thing on him. He's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Number 18, Alex. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Now a one and one. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Gregory Soto getting loose out there. Bellotti, the right-hander, also getting loose. Lace down the line with the extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice Not job the other way. Josh Rojas, the next pirate to hit. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. First offering, and it just misses. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Got him to chase one above the zone there. Hayes leads off second with nobody out. That one 95 to finish him off. Brian Reynolds digs in now. One for three. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two away down. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit.
Pitch Four. misses. One and oh. Left hand batter waits. A little uh, off right there as he swings through it. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Runner, the pitch. Runner, runner. runner takes off. Pitch is high. Get down. Real mutual yeah. throws. That in time. It's a stolen base. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Bottom of the inning, and the batter now, Alec Ball. The third baseman. And a pitch. Oh. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 0 oh 2 now. Got him. And there's yeah. one down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And now the count is even. That's down and in. Two and one now. Severino. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. And here is CJ Crone. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Hayes drifts towards it, makes the catch. That is the you inning. Do. Gregory Soto comes on now. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Connor Joe. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Way outside, one and two to Cal. Well, he missed badly with that 0 2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. The other way, puts it away for the out. Yeah. The back, the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Garrett Cooper. Rip to right, yeah. base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Bay at the plate and takes high there. Runner on the goal. In the air, left field. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Andy Rodriguez will hit next.
This one in the air right field. And that will end the oh, inning. Yeah. Back here in Philadelphia. Leading now up. it's the DH. Billy. Oscar Gonzalez. Severino back to work. That clips a corner. Severino still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Now batting. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Throws to first. One gone to the bottom of the eight. This is Corbin Carroll. Runner at second here. One gone. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The one two. Just ball. misses oh, with that ooh. one. Caught a break right there. Ball. Pretty good pitch Two's on the back. outside corner. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Over to Cooper. And they get the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They say it went. No ball. Two strikes. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Check him out. I always thought that bail was red and blue. All set for the start of the inning. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Soto back to work. Ground ball right uh. side. Crone takes it himself and a quick out number one. Good sinker low in the zone right there. Oh, yeah. Hold on. And produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. That one fouled off. Soto, a 6-1 lefty, 235 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Oh. Next pitch off the play, one and one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Marsh makes uh. the play. That's out number two. Josh Rojas, yeah, the nice next pitch. pirate to hit. Rojas. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Boom. Makes the play and it's out number three. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the ninth, leading off Brett Phillips. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Just Down, missed. Ball. Left hand hitter waits. Swings there and misses. Is. Pulled the string on the changeup. Brendan Donovan stands in for the Phillies. Donovan. 
first pitch, no. and he just mm. misses. One ball, no strike. <laughs> Left field. Joe getting an angle on it. Grabs it on the run. Good grab. And nice hustle. And there are two down. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Boom. In the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Next oh, offering one. misses. Now one and two. And a ball evens the count. Ooh. Next pitch okay. just oh. misses. Counts full three and two. Just one strike away. Into center and a base hit. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Trey Turner with a chance now. First oh. offering, misses the mark. 1 0. Oh. And that's in for a strike. Rolled over to third. Throw to first. Ah. Ball game. And the Pirates go, get a shutout on the mound. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 5 nothing. the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll be back for game two against the Phillies.